Hallo, welkom bij de camera de SSV gaat reveal. Ik ga het nu zijn voor gezegd en koppel het bij naar Schwinger Arten en voor je persoonlijk gaat het voor Schwinger Human Rights Action. Dit is camera de Garen en Red Rumbus. Ik hoop ik zeg dat goed. Foto van de figure right there, standard uh, blade style box with the uh, little brackets going around the corner. Because this is sold as a double pack thing, you can't get them separate, which is kind of annoying. I don't really care about that bike too much. Um, I don't even have blades bike for God's sake. Anyway, uh, 2014 made in China. Toei Bandai Tamashi blade logos right there. Mass without a gown on top. We want to take a closer look at the box art and the instructions and photo shoot of the toy. Please feel free to head over to the Facebook or Flickr link below. And note, I just edited. Uh, turns out the pages page in, on Facebook don't, doesn't have. It's not www.facebook.com slash pages slash digger 318 anymore. It's just slash digger 318. Oopsies on me. Uh, Hong Kong Editions has a sticker on the bottom. And it's an annoying sticker on the back. Garen shooting, Garen posing, Garen on the bike. And uh, the two card backgrounds, which really should have come with this set, I think. You know, transparent versions anyway. Side the box out, you have a really long silver card. And uh, because of the size of the box, it feels really flimsy. Um, I mean, it's, it's not l like less. It's, uh, the, the paper quality isn't thinner than the normal boxes, but because it's so big, it just flaps all over the place. So here's the instructions manual 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, huge tray. Uh, so we'll just take a closer look right there. So, aside from the fists already on the figure, you also have. Uh, Spray open hands, gun holding hand, no gun holding hands, uh, bike holding hands, and card holding hands. Got two extra handlebars. I imagine these would be the soft ones. Uh, display stand for the bike. Uh, card deck comes out of the gun. Thank God it's not stickers this time. I don't have to apply them. Uh, but some people will be complaining like, oh no, it's not stickers anymore. I can't choose between generic cards or card designs. And the gun hoister thing right here, which you can go on his belt. Of course, you got the bike and uh, a pack of cards. Right. So, see, they need to. Uh, if the handlebars are detached, are detachable, uh, why can't they be detached in the box so we can have a smaller box? I mean, this is a lot of space wasted. Uh, they could have, like, at least chucked something else in there for, you know, just because. Uh, so I'll just get the bike out. I feel with the handlebars. Trying to tell the difference between them. I honestly can't tell the difference. Hmm. No, they seem exactly the same to me. Oh yeah, one of them slightly softer than the other. But uh, oh well. Just just use them as spares or what not. So the bike. More light please. Can I get more light? There we go. So the bike's okay. Uh the wheels move smooth enough. Ah, oh, that's really sharp. This this bit, watch it. So uh yeah, uh I don't doesn't feel like that there's any dark house anywhere. Pretty sure there's no, yeah, it's all plastic. Hmm, that's annoying. Uh, the suspension, it's uh, pretty good. You see the spring there. Little uh, leg, there we go. I guess that's metal, that bit there, that little uh, pin to keep the leg in. Uh, other than that, the rubbers feel kind of good. There's no license plate anywhere on this. Hmm. Uh, it's just pretty good detail. Uh, there is a bit of silver missing on the handlebars, but uh, the engine looks good. I mean, yeah, it's 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 accurate. Uh, I do like the little transparent red on the wheels, and uh, all the little light bits on the bike are pretty decent. It's just this is really really sharp, so do be careful. So that can just stand there for now. Uh, next accessory, we've got the gun. So, focus. 
There's the gun. Looks pretty good. Ooh, looks like Aaron's gun. Has a permanent number of uh, 5500. So uh, I imagine the way to... Let's see, how do I get this... Uh, I want to do this without using the instructions. Which is probably a bad idea. There we go. You sort of slide this piece backwards. You get this piece. And you just sort of slide it forward and pegs in. And there you go, now you got all the cards. Well, in there. Um, let me see if I can read it. So the cards are actually in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. They, they've cheat, they cheated. Instead of individual stickers, it's just one long piece, like a slide. It just so sort of smoothly goes forward. Damn cheaters. Hmm, what douche. Uh, let's see, there's ball, upper, rapid, Drop, fire, uh, a blank one, there's no words on it. Scope, gimme, fusion, nothing and nothing. So he does have his fusion card here, which is a cool little detail. The shiny gold and the green and metallic colors are all really neat. And uh, yeah, this, this gun looks okay overall. Put this to the side. Uh, have this little pouch which is soft and rubbery here. But, uh, oh, it's it's is it rotatable. Uh, yes, it is. It rotates and unpegs. So it's not really meant to rotate because it's a little bit of plastic that pushes the uh, strap upwards if you do that. So. Let's stick this in. Nice and snug, not gonna fall out of place, which is good. And uh, finally, to have a look at the other tiny, tiny cards. Which, uh, I'm so gonna lose if I'm not careful. Uh, where's that nail clip I used yesterday? There we go. Does it come with more cards than Blade? Alrighty, let's uh, take a look. So all of them are laminated. Uh, so there's first one is oof. what the hell? It's so small. Oh, Gimni. Um, I'm going to take a photo of this because there's no way I'm going to read all of this. But I imagine it's just the same cards that I just read out uh, on the gun. So, drop, upper, bullet, blank, uh, a blue blank, rapid, Change, so that's his, his henshin card. Uh, I can't read that, it looks like... I think it's fusion, but it's really blurred, I can't read that. Another blank red. Another blank blue. So, four blanks. And um, fire, and last we got scope. So yeah, pretty much the exact same cards we got uh, that I read out, apart from uh, change. This engine card, they're all the same. So uh, that's that. Right, articulation time. I'm going to turn this light off now because it's uh, getting uh, kind of annoying. So, uh, 
Hmm, Cobalt Knight is a pretty good, I guess. Sharp helmet, so be careful. Double neck joint, he can't look up at all. He'll look kinda down. Sideways, sideways. Rotation, full rotation, so that's good. Shoulder pads are attached to the upper arm instead. Arm goes up, rotating torso joint, double elbow, or joint fist on a little swivel. Body, double body joint goes up, down, ooh, the belt is separate, that's good. Do, 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 do. Leg goes up, down, up, back, oh, full rotation, whoa. Double knee joint, toe goes up, foot goes sideways, sideways, up, back, full rotation. Here's the bottom of his shoes, does have a uh, diamond logo right there. I don't know how it does this kick, it's a little weird thing. Mm. Eh. Stand. Stand. Eh. There we go, there's him standing. Oh, and here's something you might want to note. Look. Is it meant to be like really glued down or something? Because, uh,. Does on both sides. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Come on, Garen. Uh, this is a pretty good figure. It doesn't. Um, I know Blade was on the better SG figure I've ever released, and it feels really solid. And here, for the most part, he has the same mold, especially with the legs and arms. But um, pretty much just because of his helmet horns that I just showed you, that's annoying. He's gonna have loads of points reduced from Blade. And also, he doesn't feel as heavy and solid as Blade for some reason, and I don't know why it is that, because I assume it's all the same plastics and such. Um, his uh, gun hoister can pop off quite easily, and that can get annoying really quickly. Uh, changing the gun and card holder thing is okay. Uh, however, I do sort of question why they changed that. I mean, yeah, not, not having to apply stickers is a plus, but sort of cheating out and not applying stickers properly yourself, that's a few points down as well. It does come for the cards and as um it's good they're all laminated and stuff, you don't have to cut them out yourself, like you know the, the days of decayed. However, uh, a few of them are like I said quite blurry and they're just really hard to read. Also a few of them are not printed quite so centered, so a bit off to the side, which again is kinda of annoying. Uh, the bike is pretty good, like if you like Gallant's bike then you'll definitely like this. I see no problem in this bike except it doesn't have any die cast pieces like most other SH figure arts uh, bikes that come along. At least there'll be one piece somewhere and then that's die cast. Kind of annoying there then. Also, uh, a side note is, uh, I guess I should sort of kind of nitpick with the blade figure as well. I wish there was all like a transparent card. Uh, the, you know, the Henshin card. I think Blade one came with one but that was like a special pre-order bonus. Uh, or first one bonus that did not actually come in the box, you had to get that separately and it is asking for insane prices in stores now in the aftermarket for you know for plastic sheet so uh, and he doesn't have any, there's no options to get him uh, nor do you have an option to get those cards for clients or uh, Lingui or any of the other plate riders who aren't actually out yet so uh, what I would recommend is you get some transparent plastic printable plastic and just you know print it out yourself uh, in, in your inkjet printer or something and just spray it for protection. If you have a laser printer even better because that's waterproof by default. So yeah. Although he does not come with any special effects like Blade did. Uh, so he's got even less accessories than Blade. So uh, when you buy this of course it, is, it isn't actually cheaper than Blade and Blade's bike put together because those two aren't that expensive. In fact this, this, this costs more than Blade and his bike put together but you get less accessories here and just overall it doesn't feel as good as Blade so uh, if you're looking for something that's just sort of I mean if you want something that's just a complete set in one go then this is great because it's all there uh, and Gammon doesn't really need any extra accessories apart from the ones I've mentioned it would be good to have a stage as well 
uh, since this is like a big special box, come on, like the whole point of buying a bigger box is that you will save money than you're know, buying things individually, so you'd have given us something Bandai, but they didn't. So what we've got here is a figure that's okay, and a bike that, that's okay, it's just the price kind of annoying. So it really depends if you really, really like Garen. And I know a lot of people liked all the Blade characters, so they're going to go for it anyway. But, you know, trying to get it cheaper if you can. And in case you want any price, and it was stuck on the box, but uh, it was pretty much sold at 500 Hong Kong. So pretty much 250 for the figure and 250 for the bike, which isn't bad in SH figure arts terms. But, like I said, uh, Blade didn't cost, I think Blade was only 235 or something. So... So yeah, uh, average trigger price, also kind of average, just meh, overall, not bad, not great. Whew. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course take care and have a nice day, bye.